Hey guys, Matt Wolf here with Business and Blogs. Um, I've really been procrastinating lately on getting my income report up for February. And I think the reason for that is I just, for some reason, haven't been in the mood to write a big, long, drawn-out blog post. So I figured the next best thing is why not just shoot a video. So I'll make this month's monthly income report just on video, and I'll talk to you about some of the income that I made, um, why the change from last month, uh, some, of the, some of the reasons why there was such a big difference. Um, as you can see on my screen, this is this is my monthly income report. You can see that I keep it here in a Google Docs um, document. Here's my one from January of uh, 2012. This is last month's where I did 24,577, and then of course here's February this this month's. Um, now the biggest difference between last month and this month is this WP cash cow. As you can see, this month or you know, February. It did 1,475 for me, where in January it did 11,471. That's because in January that's when I launched the WSO, and that's when I got all the affiliates pushing towards it, and that's when I did a big push to my list for it. This in February is just kind of the, the leftover kind of stragglers that came in and got it late, you know. So um, that's why my income numbers are so much more down in February than they were in January. Now another reason the, the numbers have changed between January and February is because for pretty much the entire month of February and most of March so far as well, I've been working on this Beyond the Hype product that I'm creating with Josh Bartlett. Um, I, it's been pretty much my full-time focus. You know, I'm still getting in there and making more content for WordPress Classroom members, but other than the, the WordPress Classroom stuff I'm working on, all of my focus is Beyond, beyond the Hype. It's been on beyond the hype. So um, that's kind of the big change this month. But um, just to go over some of the numbers, um, the WordPress classroom in February did 7,768.95. Um, in January it did 8473.89. Again, the reason for this is the WP Cash Cow, which I launched in January, actually was kind of a lead generator into the WordPress classroom. A lot of people that bought WP Cash Cow bought the, the WordPress classroom as well. That's why the numbers were up a little bit in January over February. Again, uh, the WP Cash Cow was only a, a little under 1500 bucks uh, in February, and the marketer's classroom was $1,215. Um, again, in January, the marketer's classroom, Joe and I launched that WSO in January, so the numbers was a little bit higher. We didn't do as big of a push to that as we did the WP Cash Cow. So January, the numbers weren't crazy numbers, but they were they were decent numbers. Um, February, we still kind of got a little bit of stragglers coming in and, and picking up that product late. So we did make some income on that. But as you can see, a typical month, my biggest portion of my income is the WordPress Classroom there. Now, those income sources there, the WordPress Classroom, the WP Cash Cow, and the Marketer's Classroom, that's my net. That's after all affiliates have been paid. That's actually what went to me into my bank account after everybody's been paid out. Okay, so just to, to show you that and to give a little explanation of why those numbers are lower. Um, now, my affiliate products that I promoted, I promoted Easy Video Player. Um, I've always I'm always kind of promoting that. That's Josh's product, so um, to support him, it's it's uh, it's something I'm always kind of pushing. Elite Commissions and Local Ranking Loophole. These are two other WSOs that I've promoted last month. I did my WSO, the WP Cash Cow. Um, I did a WSO with the Marketer's Classroom with Joe. Um, so I found a couple relevant other WSOs to test to my WSO list that I built. So I built this list of buyers with these WSOs, and I thought it would be cool to test promoting products to those WSO lists. So these were some actual relevant products. The local ranking loophole was a, um, a WordPress plugin, so it kind of made sense to promote that. And Elite Commissions was kind of a bunch of traffic techniques and, you know, it was relevant stuff. So I tested promoting those. I made 380 on Elite Commissions. I made 357 on local ranking loophole. Um, I'm always making some affiliate commissions on HostGator because that's the host that I recommend. Um, Bring the Fresh made a couple sales on that. A Weber, uh, just those are some recurring commissions from affiliates that have been in there for a while. Um, and SEO Blueprint, um, surprisingly, got some sales on it. I mentioned the SEO Blueprint in one of my podcasts, and that's where a couple of those sales came from. Interest from PayPal balance, that's self-explanatory. I kind of always have some money um, in that PayPal account. So as you can see, uh, it earned 30 cents in interest. Um, like I said last month, 
AdSense is kind of dropping on me because I'm promoting that less and less and moving more and more to affiliate products. So that's kind of the income report for this month. Um, here's kind of the pie chart. The WordPress classroom was the biggest chunk. Uh, the WP Cash Cow and the Marketers Classroom were smaller. And then you can see the little uh, affiliate commissions uh, grouped together in here. And um, yeah, so that is my monthly income report with a little bit of explanation. Um, March is going to be a very similar kind of numbers because I didn't really push the WP Cash Cow anymore in March. Um, we didn't really push Marketers Classroom very much in March. There's probably a couple sales here and there on there, but probably under a thousand bucks. Um, the WordPress Classroom and some affiliate commissions are going to be my biggest income for March when I do do my March income report next month. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That kind of explains what's going on. One thing I do want to say is when I do launch Beyond the Hype with Josh, I will be sharing the income that I draw in from Beyond the Hype. Okay, so um, I'm not sharing the commissions that I make on the Elite Marketing Foundation. That's the program that I'm currently running with Josh. I don't share that segment of income because I don't want, uh, I, I split that 50-50 with Josh and I don't want to be basically inadvertently sharing Josh's income as well. Um, but when I do be on the hype, I have kind of discussed it with Josh, and I will be sharing my portion of the income from Beyond the Hype. So what I pull in from Beyond the Hype will show up on my monthly income reports once that gets launched. Um, our launch date for Beyond the Hype is April 9th, so keep an eye out for that. I'm basically doing an interview with somebody every single day. Um, let me take that back. They're not really interviews. They're more like... Uh, I'm creating products with people, okay? So, uh, for example, I did a product with a girl named Christine McDaniel the other day, and I didn't interview her. I She's basically knows a lot about Pinterest, so I contacted her, and I got on a call, and I said, okay, brain dump on me. Teach me everything you know about Pinterest. And she just let loose. She just showed me everything she knew about Pinterest, and it was a product because, you know, she unleashed some really good stuff, and if you go through that course, you're probably going to have a really good understanding of how to use Pinterest to generate traffic to your site, how to use Pinterest as an affiliate to generate affiliate commissions, and just it's some really cool stuff. So I've been doing that pretty much at a rate of one to two new products a day, just getting on calls with people and getting them to brain dump everything they know on topics. So it's going to be a really, really cool program and be on the hype, and I can't wait to share it with you. We're about uh, two weeks away from launching. And I will be sharing some of the income that I make from Beyond the Hype on these income reports once we get that launched. Um, so that's my income report for March. Uh, WordPress Classroom is the biggest chunk, and the affiliate commissions are the kind of the next biggest chunk. Um, and I have a feeling March is going to look pretty similar. Um, so if you're keeping a tally at the moment, just between January and February, the combined income is somewhere around $35,000 within the first two months of this year. So that's my monthly income report for February 2012. Thanks for watching. Um, I, let me know in the comments whether you like this video format better or you like the actual blog post format better. Uh, personally, the video is easier for me to do. There's less barrier. I just get to sit here and talk to a camera where the actual uh, typed one, I have to sit there and type out a in-depth report. So this is, this is kind of handy for me. But I, I really want your feedback on what you like better. Do you like this video where I'm actually explaining to you what's going on? Or do you like the blog post idea better? Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. This is the February 2012 Income Report. See you later.